Jed here to demonstrate how to add an extension in Grasshopper. A voicemail box is automatically created for each extension. This video will also explain the differences between department and employee extensions. You must be an admin to complete this task. The Grasshopper admin portal can be accessed to this site. I've already signed in as the admin Ryan Noble. Begin by clicking Extensions. Here are the extensions which have previously been created for your Grasshopper account. There are different types of extensions. The first is for department extensions. These are single digit extensions. Only seven are available. They can be any number from zero to six. Digits seven, eight, and nine are reserved for other functions. Seven is the first digit used for employee extensions. Eight is reserved for the name directory and nine repeats the main greeting. Employee extensions are three digit numbers. You can add up to 100 on your own or contact support if you want to add more than that. Let's add a new employee extension. Click the add extension button. The new extension is added to the bottom of the list. Let's scroll down to see that. There are several details here related to the new extension. I'll quickly discuss them, but view our online resources for additional information. From this section, you can enable call forwarding for the extension. By default, the forwarding number on any newly added extension is the contact number the customer used when they signed up. With that in mind, verify that the number in the forwarding space is correct. Voicemail messages can be added as an attachment and emailed to the address you list here, and it does not need to be the email address associated with your Grasshopper account. The default email is the address the customer listed when they signed up. I'll update this and click the Save button. The greeting section deals with the audio messages that play during events, like when a caller is directed to leave a voicemail. More greetings can be seen by clicking the Show Other Greetings button. Go back to the top of the details for the extension, and then click the View Details button. Here you can change your extension number to one already not in use if desired. It is also possible to add a user to a department extension. Please view our online resources if you have questions about that, and I've included a video on that topic in this video's description. From here you can also change your phone PIN and time zone. Finally, it is recommended that you give the extension a name, like the user will be assigned to. Please note though, your customers will not see this information. Click the Save button if you've made any changes. It may take up to 5 minutes for the system to update the changes you've made. That's all there is to add an extension in Grasshopper.